Good day, welcome again to our channel. My name is Wahyu or you can simply call me Sam. Today we will continue series about design spark mechanical. So uh, this will be the thing that we will design today, brackets. The left one will be the simple one and then uh, a more advanced one. But don't worry, it's not going to be too complicated. So please open your design spark mechanical software and we will uh, start. Okay, we will start by clicking file new design and this is the sketch mode starting to make a rectangle with the size of 30 by 20 so this will be the width 20 and the uh, height is 30 okay and then now let's uh, click this one the 3d mode and then pull okay so now we pull this uh, surface to become a solid object and type in 5 for the thickness okay now let's continue click select uh, and then click the upper surface of this solid and then click again the sketch mode we now will make a sketch on top of the solid uh, now we will make uh, this one the rectangle will be 5 by 20 millimeters okay press enter and then click again the 3d mode okay now we spin a little to make uh, easier to view okay click pull click this one the surface uh, and then pull by if we want the length to be 30 and we we already have the uh, the thickness of the bottom part is 5 millimeters so this should be 25 okay and click select or press s or press escape yes this will be the base shape for our bracket now we need to make holes for maybe the screws that will be put on so hmm, to do that click on one of the surface here and then uh, click the sketch mode and then create a circle that you need so in this case I would like to have a six millimeters screw sorry meaning six millimeters diameter hole for screw so meaning that we need to add some clearance or gap so that the screw will come in easily in that case we will make for six millimeters I will make the hole 6.4 millimeters 6.4 okay and then click the 3d mode uh, spin a little sorry and then we click the surface and then pull to make the hole okay now we have the hole and then for the bottom part also similar uh, method click on the surface and then go to the sketch mode now we make a circle here the circle will be 6.4 millimeters in diameter click select click 3d mode okay now click pull and we can uh, make hole here okay click select press home this is the basic shape now we add some more details first um, let's add some chamfer here so it will make the uh, the the object stronger okay we click uh, at this line and then click pull and then for this left bottom part we click chamfer and then pull here and input in this case I want to input five millimeters okay press escape and then home yes now I will add some uh, round or radius on these edges so click one by one and then uh, this one left bottom select the round for the edges so pull mm, let's say by 10 is it okay ah okay too too big so five this one also five 
minus one, five. Sorry. Okay. Now we will add some more detail to the hole. So we want to add a chamfer here. So click on the circle and then uh, pull. And then this one select the chamfer and push maybe at one millimeter of chamfer okay here also click pull one millimeter of chamfer okay now we click home and press select done we've already finished our first bracket that you can design by yourself based on the size that you need now we will make another version which is more a bit more advanced with two screw holes at each uh, position and a rib in between so now let's click home uh, we can start by creating the uh, rectangle at sketch mode but for this one let's try also the combined uh, feature of design spark mechanical so we will copy this uh, finish bracket uh, sorry let's name it here rename bracket simple okay so now we will copy this one just uh, we can click here and then uh, press ctrl C and then ctrl V so this is actually uh, there are actually two bracket that overlaps in this drawing so click one of it here at the structure and then click move and then move by maybe 30 millimeters okay click home now we can see two bracket and then copy again ctrl C ctrl V okay move again but now we will move by 20 millimeters so it will be side by side with uh, the other bracket now let's hide the uh, the first one okay we will focus on these two to become a larger bracket with rib so now these two bracket we will first remove this uh, radius here here also this one also so you can uh, click and then press delete or you can also for example click here and this one click fill it will also return the shape to a more simplified or uh, in this menu set uh, fill the selected region or edges with neighboring or simplified geometry okay now we have uh, this one a bracket but this are two objects so if we click one by one it's this is the left one and then this is the right one so we want to combine these two objects become one so click on both click here click and then press shift click the other one and then click this one combine so now it become one object okay after that again click select or press escape okay now we will add a rib uh, between these two uh, screw hole but first maybe I will remove this one the chamfer so to do that we can click here and press delete or we can also click this one fill so it will be a more simplified geometry okay so we will add rib here so just click on one of uh, this surface or face which one that you prefer but maybe we will click on this one and then click the sketch mode now we will uh, draw a rectangle here with the thickness of the rib that we want so I'll draw something like six millimeters wide okay and then again click the 3d mode rotate to make easier view click here and then pull all the way here or you can also sorry you can input the uh, pulling distance like this type in 25 or you can also use this menu so click here make sure it is in pull mode 
and then click this one this is the up to uh, icon or you can press U in the keyboard and then press uh, this will be up to where for the pulling to take effect so in this case I will click here sorry here and then press U and then click here okay so now we have the second bracket like this but of course we will not leave it uh, with a very large rib now we can cut it you can use the chamfer method like this oh sorry this one is rounded click here chamfer method like this or you can also use the cutting or pulling method so click on one of the surface here and then click on the sketch mode and draw the shape that you want so in this case I want to make uh, the rib 5 millimeters here and 5 millimeters here and then click 3d view okay so now I can select this one this uh, shape this rectangle click pull and I will cut the rib so it become like this and then after this we can simplify or we can improve the detail by clicking this one and make a chamfer by five millimeters in this case here also same five millimeters okay now we have a bracket with a more advanced feature uh, okay this is a little tip if you see things like this some shape on the surface you can click one and then press delete so it will simplify the look of the surface click home now let's rename the bracket become bracket sorry with rip yes okay let's click the first bracket bracket symbol click home there you go congratulations now you can design and make your own bracket to your own specification so that's all for now don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again in the next video bye